Welcome back to The Sound for more Channel 8, Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Noises, one of the latest app from AudioThing. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. And uh, if you would like to participate to uh, the giveaway, please do follow the instruction in the video description. Thank you again. So what is Noises? Well, it's another experimental app uh, from AudioThing created in collaboration with uh, German composer Heimbach. So really nice, as you would expect normally by the collaboration with Heimbach. And um, you can create a lot of interesting, interesting noises or experimental sound. What I really like is that you can um, very much uh, smoothly move, move from one type of noise or for example wave to another one using this dial here in the middle. So let's start going through uh, the interface and the user controls and then uh, we see some of the applications. So okay, so let's kick off saying that uh, you have here a level which as soon as you turn it on you will start to hear noise. Where does the noise come? Well, it comes from the selection of a bank here. It says bank at the top here. Here you have the selection. Use your control. Go back to the previous one, to the next one, or click in the middle. You have the selection of the different uh, banks. And you can create your own. So, for example, I created one here, which I called SFM. So let's choose, for example, this first one, analog feedback. And let's increase the level. <laughs> And let me show you what happens as you move these dial up and down, okay? So you're practically transitioning between different type of waveforms. You see the waveforms if you click on uh, this uh, button here for your cog symbol and here you find all the different uh, samples which have been loaded against uh, this particular bank. And you can see you can play different samples. <laughs> You can upload them, delete them, you can give a name to the bank, you can upload an image as well here, and also delete that image. You can give it a description, of course you can save and cancel. Okay, and just to give you an example, let's choose SFM, and if I go to check again the composition, you see I loaded, for example, a snare wave sample and also kick wave sample, okay, which I can audition here. Of course, I didn't upload an image in the description, etc. But it's just an example. And let me show you what happens when you load it with custom samples. The reason that you don't hear anything when the dial is on this position is because here at the bottom you have the selection of the samples which are active, which in this case are seven, but I have loaded only uh, waveforms on the first two. And so therefore the other positions are free of samples, so, but I can uh, deactivate clicking in here uh, all the other samples in the representation here of the dial so that as I move smoothly between the first and the second only where I have two waveforms. Okay, so let's try. And you can hear that the sample is actually repeated, right? So let's choose a different bank, analog synths. Again, you find the interesting information here if you click on the eye uh, on the bank. So a lot of information, really nice banks. So let's choose, uh, let's increase the level. Let's choose other banks. Autobahn.
Okay, other controls. You can change the pitch here, and you can change and you can change the output gain here. You can also link uh, uh, to the AUV3 the keyboard. In this case, we are inside the AUM, and of course, you can use that. And you can see that it's changing the pitch here on this dial. Okay, but let's deactivate that so we can see better the interface. Here you have a trigger which can be free or by host. If it is free, I can trigger it on and off to activate the uh, performance. Now, when you activate it, of course, in uh, it will respect what you have set as attack and also release. So you have an envelope on the sound as it's been uh, produced or as it's been released. Okay. So let's make the attack longer. Of course, what you can also do is to sync it to the host, which in this case... In this case, you can use the transport control up here. And of course, you can stop it. And what you have seen also a moment ago is that when you have it in host, if you click, it will move it to free. Okay. So as I mentioned, you have banks here and you can see the information and the composition. If you want to create a new one, just click on the plus sign here. Click here and it will say custom bank. And here you can give it, uh, change the name, the descriptions, and uh, the image, as I mentioned earlier on, and then load your sample, okay? So it's, uh, it's really straightforward in, in terms of how it works. And you can play uh, along with all your samples, it's really nice. Now, so here you have uh, something called trip, which, of course, you can activate here. You can see the dial is moving um, in all different uh, position. Now, here you have also these... Um, um, this button which allows you to change the speed to sync it to host so when it's active you can see the sync to host you have division here but of course you can run free as well okay in hertz and of course you have change of phase here as well and you can see i'm changing the speed of the dial which of course uh, will be interesting depending on what you have in the bank Now, you can uh, run in pendulum mode, which is what you see at the moment, or you can run it in random mode, so you will choose different random position. What you can also do is you can introduce um, um, ra additional randomness or, or fuzziness through this dial, and you see what happens as I change the parameter. You see it's making it go fuzzier, which is quite nice. <laughs> okay, and that works also in pendulum mode. Here you have two additional dials, as the uh, which allows you to actually set some destination in terms of effectively modulation to the cutoff for the filter which you see up here, and also for the resonance which you see up here. So you can influence the cutoff uh, as the um, triple modulation is occurring. Of course, you need to set the cutoff here, in this case, to a lower level to see the increase because I set it on the positive way, but I could have set it also on a negative way. You can also apply resonance as well, which will change the resonance here. Okay, so... So, really nice. So you have a filter here, which you activated. So now you will hear it in terms of actually the filter being applied. Of 
Okay. So you can change you can change the type of filter here. You click on type, and then you can choose your low pass, high pass, bend pass, notch. So is um, straightforward, and then you can apply a crusher effect here. So here's where you can change your bits, your down sample, and also the mix, which is really nice. And you can and what is interesting is also that you can change the position, the routing between filter and the crusher, which is really nice. And here, just click on here, so you can swap between the two and click again. You swap again, and this icon has allow, allows you to apply a soft clipper to the output, which become very handy, particularly when you have a very, um, a very high level of uh, output. Okay, and as I mentioned, here you have steps, almost like a sequencer, and as you move your cursor here, you can see two more controls appear at the bottom. One is for volume and one is for pitch, which again, really handy as you create different uh, um, different banks and you play around with the experimenting with different samples. Lot of fun. Up here you have, of course, presets which you can change. As you can see, a different preset will have different settings and also will choose a different bank, okay? As always, you can save, delete and randomize. You can lock parameters as you change between different preset. As standard control, you can bypass um, the uh, noises as um, as an app. Then you have the traditional menu here where you can download banks, import banks, export them as well. You have global setting for MIDI, um, also pitch bend amount, standard very much. Also the pitch unit, you can change it between speed and semitones. It's quite interesting, you can also set the crossfade time in milliseconds and seconds that become really interesting you, you can lock all parameters or unlock them use your standard really controls that you find in all your audio thing apps okay i'm going to stop here i hope you enjoy the tutorial see you next time bye